because it's like a, a good, you know, a good music. It's made to be played. So I'm here because I know those people, if they are here, is that they are looking for, uh, you know, new ways of doing things. What my father had done uh, is create a certain, create a certain generation of free people who don't know what Soviet Union is, who don't know what it's like to bribe someone to get a passport quicker, who don't know what it's like to to give money to the police station to, to the policeman who had stopped them. Liberty is appealing to me for multiple reasons. One reason is that it's the only social, political, and economic arrangement that allows people to be the unique and sovereign individuals that they are. I congratulate the Georgian uh, Students for Liberty for the work they are doing. This country is certainly in the right track and you know having so many people like the, uh, like the people that we have here, hundreds and hundreds of students. Uh, some politicians decide what you can do with your own body. And um, the interesting thing is that even though we have very harmful substances that are legal, such as alcohol or tobacco, some not so, so harmful substances are illegal. What I tried to talk about here today and was able to deliver is the fact that to have liberty, you have to protect it. And the enemies of liberty are not only visible, but they're invisible. The best way to fight espionage, especially hostile espionage, by making yourself a harder target by understanding the way that spies work. Overall, a fantastic event. We had students coming from the whole Caucasus, Azerbaijan, Armenia, of course, a lot of Georgians, but also students from abroad. I want to thank Georgian Students for Liberty for organizing this amazing conference. And I think this was uh, very thought provocative and very engaging. Overall, it was a fantastic experience, I think, for everyone involved. Um, different topics, different speakers, different ideas to be heard and discussed and challenged.